Um, so in terms of um, research, and I think this is where a lot of the kind of scary things, like the, sound, the word research, you kind of can delve up some like, if you don't understand it or know it, it can sound scary. And so, um, and, it, and, that's just, and that doesn't come from nowhere, right? I mean, there have been things that have happened in the research world that have made people potentially worried about participating in research. Um, I think particularly with around risk. Um, so am I gonna increase the risk to my child, especially when you're making that decision for your child? And so the Belmont Report is a really important document, um, and it bore out of actually some pretty horrific things that happened actually in clinical research that I won't get into. Um, but the main three principles of the Belmont Report are beneficence, respect for persons, and justice. And as a result of the Belmont Report, a lot of regulation went into doing clinical trials and trials in humans. And what bore out of that was something called the IRB, or the Institutional Review Board, which every single institution, whether academic or non-academic, has if they're doing clinical trials. And this is, a, this is a board of people who are doctors, scientists, but also people from the community. So if it's something that you're actually interested in doing, you might live close to an academic center, you might have a little bit of interest, every IRB is required to have a non-scientific, non-medical person on it. So if it's something that you think you might be interested in, it's something to volunteer for, and it can be quite rewarding. Um, beneficence is that it's holding us to a higher standard. So physicians, when they become physicians, take a, um, an oath that they will, shall do no harm. With research, we're taking an oath that we will benefit, not that we will do no harm, but that we need to have a belief that the research we're doing may benefit people and not just that it won't harm them. With regard to respect for persons, it means that we can't just not consent you. Like, we have to let you know what we're doing. Um, we have to respect you as people. And then with regards to justice, this is um, an interesting one, but it bore out of uh, research that really was done uh, potentially in other countries or underserved people that weren't actually gonna benefit from the research themselves. So maybe like really expensive drugs that their country was never gonna see or never gonna get. So this became a really important issue like with HIV research and stuff like that. But this was just essentially as saying, you need to be doing the research and the people who might benefit from them. You can't expose other people to risk that might not ever get the benefit from, from what you're studying. 